big card coming up this Saturday. It's the last one from Fight Island, headlined by none other than Robert the Reaper or Bobby Knuckles Whitaker taking on Darren the Gorilla Till. And it's a great card overall. Like I said, 15 fights, so it's a little bit busy. And in the first fight on our prelims at Bantamweight, we had a tough one between the prospect Nathaniel Wood and is he still a prospect? We'll get into that. Taking on John Castaneda, the sexy Mexi, coming in on short notice, replacing Umar Nurmagomedov on roughly two weeks' notice. Nurmagomedov out, of course, due to the passing of Abdul Manap Nurmagomedov. Now, Matt, I find this fight incredibly interesting because you get a guy that has a lot of experience with Combate under his belt and Castaneda. Former Bantamweight champ there has a finished win over Gustavo Lopez that you saw make his UFC debut not that long ago. Now that fight was back in 2016. Since then, he's been very active. Had an appearance on the first season of Dana White's Contender Series in 2017. Got the win there by decision. UFC choosing not to sign him. Since then, he's gone 3-2. and two. He last fought back in 2019. A big win over Marcelo Rojo. There's a lot of things that I like about John Castaneda, and I'll get into that a little bit later on. But for Nathaniel Wood... A guy who came in with a lot of hype into the UFC, a lot of wins under his belt, former Cage Warriors champ. He ran into a weird kind of a roadblock and a bit of a gatekeeper, if you will, in John Dodson, a guy who's been there and done that at 25, former two-time title challenger against Demetrius Johnson. And he's had success at Bantamweight. That was a fight where Nathaniel Wood definitely won the first round. Second round was really close. I gave it to Dodson. Wood had a really bad cut. He came out guns a-blazing, Wood did in the third round, and it didn't work out for him. So what have you seen so far from Nathaniel Wood in the UFC? He is really good on the ground, really aggressive too. Uh, of his three wins in the UFC, they've all been by submission. Really the only outlier was that John Dodson fight, and that was a weird fight. And just kind of alluding to what you had said at the start with, is Nathaniel Wood a prospect still? It's really weird because John Dodson, who we'd seen leading up to that fight, Nathaniel Wood was kind of supposed to run over him. Like, I definitely thought that was going to happen. I thought it would, it would springboard Wood into the top 15 and start getting him, you know, more big-name opponents. He hit that roadblock, and that's really the question. Did he lose to a really good John Dodson, and it was just Dodson, at, Dodson was on last that night, Wood was off? Or did he lose to John Dodson, who we've seen from, you know, 2017 on, really? So that's the big question mark coming into this fight. I don't think the outcome of that fight really dictates what's going to happen. This Nathaniel Wood is going to win this fight. It's hard to beat him with a full training camp, much less on two weeks' notice in Fight Island. So I'm very heavily leaning towards Nathaniel Wood. Very aggressive guy on the feet, though, and that can sometimes get him clipped. We've seen a lot of his Cage Warriors fights, I highly recommend going and watching them, are absolutely insane because he is not afraid to take a shot, to give a shot. Um... Really underrated grappling, like I had said, though. Not a guy who's going to go out there and just completely double-leg you, take you down, and really search the submission Mac White Americani style. He's more, if we get into that brawl, if I drop you, I'm not going to waste all my energy just trying to ground and pound you. I'm going to go for those nice chokes, submissions, and whatnot. So I'm really high on Nathaniel Wood still, even though he did have that loss to John Dawson. I'm really excited to see where it can go from here. So Nathaniel Wood, kind of a known commodity. You understand what you're going to get. Odds makers, fans kind of siding with you as well. If you look over at the odds, Nathaniel Wood right now trending around a minus 445 favorite. Castaneda in his UFC debut plus 335 if you look at where those odds open wood was actually minus 365 so there's been quite a bit of money going towards wood which again in some of these ufc debuts you get what you pay for and maybe it's not totally worth it the juice isn't worth the squeeze so to speak i'm going to speak a little bit more towards john castaneda because he might be the unknown commodity here so he's a guy that trains at a minnesota martial arts academy with uh, a known commodity if you're a Bellator fan and Logan Storley who unfortunately out of his uh, return or, or planned return for this week's card but I digress I mean Logan Storley is one of the best wrestlers oh, at yeah. 70 that you're going to find and that's regardless of UFC Bellator organization that's a good guy to train with even if you're a smaller guy in Castaneda you're coming in making this debut I just want to highlight a couple of things that he does well. He's a southpaw. He stands really wide. He can counter strike well. Has a really nice left hook or left straight rather down the pipe. And the other thing that I would liken him to, he's kind of like a Henry Cejudo on the feet where he shares a similar type of stance and he can work you on the feet like that. Now, I will say, Henry Cejudo can rely on his wrestling. Castaneda, he's more known for striking than anything. So I just want to throw that one out there. I'm going to agree with the odds makers here. Over on Tapology, at a 789 votes, 96% going with Wood. 54% saying he's going to win by submission. You brought it up. Maybe a bit of an underrated ground game. Nathaniel Wood, out of his uh, you know numerous pro wins out of 16, six of them are by submission. I don't know if I'd go that far. I think this is a fight that's probably tailor-made for a decision. But I'm going to side with you with Nathaniel Wood. You're going finals. 100% finals Wood. Nathaniel Wood. I just think he's everything he does, he does a little bit better. Uh, so I just think he's going to be able to outlast Castaneda. 
I'm really looking forward to this fight. We've got a great okay. card coming out, 15 fights in total, so you're going to want to keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks, an extended preview and prediction of our main event between Robert Whitaker and Darren Till. Keep it locked in with Fight Night Picks, Matt, and as we always say, let's, let's get, get into it. it.